Australia's flying kangaroo is facing the most tempestuous times in its long history. Condemned by trade unions over job cuts, battling record fuel costs and unrelenting competition from subsidised rivals, Qantas has embarked on a ruthless make-or-break plan to revive its wilting fortunes. This performance by our airlines is unacceptable. And the current position is unsustainable. It reflects a substantial change in our circumstances. Taking the $2 billion in costs by the end of financial year 2017 requires difficult decisions across all aspects of our business. Today, I regret to announce that we will be reducing our employee numbers by the equivalent of 5,000 full-time staff over the next three years. Australia's national carrier has been lobbying the government in Canberra to ease limits on foreign investment or provide state intervention to boost its financial health. Ministers are drafting new laws to allow foreigners to buy a majority stake in the airline and to strip away other restrictions. We accept that Qantas are facing a tough and very competitive market. We accept that Qantas uh, do have to compete with a ball and chain uh, provided by the Qantas Sale Act. Uh, but in the end, Qantas do have to get their own house in order. Its management claims that it's disadvantaged because its main domestic rival, Virgin, is largely owned by three government-backed operators, Air New Zealand, Etihad and Singapore Airlines. Qantas has repeatedly stressed that it doesn't want handouts, but rather a debt guarantee from the government that would allow it to borrow at more favourable interest rates. The airline is under pressure to tame its finances as ministers consider their next move. Phil Mercer, BBC News, Sydney.